We're back here on Weather Nation. Another look at what's happening in the tropics. Of course, we've got Jose on the East Coast, but uh, it's looking like Maria is, again, a behemoth of a storm. Mm -hmm. We've got, uh, we've seen it reach already a Category 5 strength overnight, and right. we've got some major impacts headed towards Puerto Rico and the U.S. Virgin Islands. And with that being said, we want to uh, bring in again Amaril Condo. She is a meteorologist there at the National Weather Service in San Juan, Puerto Rico. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. I want to jump right in. What are you guys expecting? Has anything changed in the last about 12 to 20? Four hours. Well, now that it's re-intensified to Category 5, the impacts remain the same. We're still under an emergency state. Very dangerous, extremely dangerous situation for Puerto Rico right now. We are expecting life-threatening conditions in terms of rainfall amounts, coastal flooding, surge, winds, everything about this storm is extremely dangerous for the entire uh, island of Puerto Rico, Culebra Vieques, including the U.S. Virgin Islands. And uh, Amaryllis, can you kind of tell us uh, how some of those uh, rainfall totals may impact the island? Of course, uh, you were telling us about the geography uh, kind of playing against us right now, unfortunately. Unfortunately, Puerto Rico has a very favorable uh, mudslide uh, condition. It's, it's a very mountain area, so mudslides, rock slides are very common for us. Seeing in, uh, 12 to 18 inches isolated amounts up to 25 really it causes a very, uh, very significant dangerous effect, and especially for the prone areas already. Urban areas here tend to flood very easily with one to two inches, so this amount of rain will also bring very dangerous situation for those people. So pretty much the entire island is seeing that these effects are going to impact significantly their homes, their businesses, their areas. Now, we're not expecting the intensity to decrease much more, so uh, really we're expecting Category 4, Category 5 hurricane to impact the island almost directly. Can you tell me a little bit about the timing of when everything uh, may progress from right now all the way through the end of our Tuesday into Wednesday? So for, for here, we can actually start seeing across the U.S. Virgin Islands some of those tropical storm force winds starting at around this afternoon, spreading into Puerto Rico by early this evening. And then we can actually see those hurricane storm force winds moving in the USVI really late at night tonight and into the very early mornings of Puerto Rico. And we're expecting these conditions to continue all the way up to Thursday, possibly. And of course, we've still been uh, reeling from the impacts of Irma. You know, what are uh, what are the preparations uh, going on right now? I know a lot of people have been uh, displaced from some of the other islands and they've sought refuge in Puerto Rico. Yeah, this has also been a major concern for us since we've had already large amounts of people from the U.S. Virgin Islands and Culebra moving into our you know main island seeking refuge because they were affected gravely by Hurricane Irma. So. We do have to also take care of those people, look for more refugee areas and shelter areas to help these people out. We're under a very dangerous situation, a state of emergency, so we here are doing the best that we can. As we can see, Puerto Ricans are very help helpful that way, so we're trying to do the best for them and the best for us. Now, what is your plan as a National Weather Service organization? Are you uh, completely fully staffed and ready to go? And what about the structure that you're in? Are you guys going to be safe to ride out the storm there in San Juan? Yes, we're here 24-7. Our staff is currently under a 12 to 14 hour schedule. So we're fully staffed. We're here actually updating and talking to the public 24-7. We're answering their questions. Anything that they need, we're here. We're always here for them. And based on our building, we are in a building that is meant to withstand some of these winds. We're hoping for the best. All right, we're definitely hoping for the best for you as well. Amaryllis, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, she was a meteorologist with the National Weather Service Office in San Juan, Puerto Rico. Again, Puerto Rico, the U.S. Virgin Islands, bracing for major Hurricane Irma. And again, that intensity kind of teetering right around the Category 4, Category mm -hmm. 5 line over the next uh, several hours. And, you know, we could expect it to fluctuate really mm -hmm. uh, over the next uh, 12 to 16, 12 to 18 hours for sure. Uh, but a lot of the models, this is something we always talk about, uh, they're just in very, very very good agreement right. uh, over the course of the next three days. One of the models we talk about always is the Euro and the GFS and look at this by tomorrow morning, wow. almost in the same exact spot. Indeed. So you want to keep it tuned here to Weather Nation. We'll have continuing coverage as the storm pushes through the Caribbean, even coverage on the ground. We want to share with you. We've got a couple of our field correspondents in Puerto Rico. More coming up on Maria and Jose throughout the morning.